Welcome back to River Funsies. On this episode, we're going to talk about rainbow trout fishing. And the particular location that will be featured is called Camp Waco Springs near New Braunfels. And they have an agreement with the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department to allow people free access for the purposes of fishing for the months of December to March. And uh, aside from fishing, it's an excellent place uh, any time of the year, and especially in the summertime, for camping, canoeing, and other fishing. There is even some striped bass that run through the park. There's a waterfall, and I've heard that they the striped bass like to camp out under the waterfall and... They will eat the rainbow trout as well. So you'll never know what you catch when you're there. Uh, but the place for the fishermen is below the RV campsite area. And it's well marked. And usually you'll see other fishermen. And, you know, when you fish uh, for rainbow trout in this location... They usually seem to stay bunched up really close together in one spot or maybe two spots in the river. And personal boundaries are, you know, can be tested. So just understand that, um, you know, people will be fishing uncomfortably close to what normal uh, fishing situations would allow. Uh, But everybody I've encountered at this location has been usually very polite, and everybody's just there to have a good time. On the other side of the river is kind of a tall cliff, and you'll see different uh, things on that side, deer, goats. And the river is, it can be swift depending on certain conditions, but, you know, maybe five or six feet deep at the deepest, and it's very clear, so you can see the fish. And you'll see fishermen in the water with their waders on. And if you are lucky enough to show up when the, at the moment that the rainbow trout are stocked, you're going to have a very good chance of catching some. Because it is my understanding that the fish are not fed for a few days prior to being put in the river. So... When they're dropped in the water, they're extremely hungry, and they'll just attack just about everything. They'll jump out of the water, and there you see the fish going into the water. And across the state, they will stock over 340,000 fish in different locations, so everybody can have access to this uh, animal. And this river is special because it's the only river in the state that is stocked with rainbow trout where the trout could potentially live through the summer. The water in this river is extremely cold uh, by comparison to the other rivers because the water coming into it is coming out of a dam nearby and the bottom of the lake is extremely cold. So these fish can grow and get pretty large. Uh, four or five pounds. That's uh, some of the pictures I've seen of fish caught in this river. And there's special size limits and slots further upstream. uh, The closer you get to the dam where more of the larger rainbow trout will be. And they don't breed in this water, but they will continue to live past the summertime. Uh, People use different kind of baits and lures. Um, One I've heard was very popular was take a cotton ball and mix it with like cheese and garlic and make it like a, a little ball like like fish food and put it on a treble hook. Uh, people use uh, they fly fish for them. Uh, they use uh, MEPS lures. So different things work for different people, but try your luck, especially if they're really hungry. You should have a pretty good chance of uh, catching your limit. And the size limit for these fish, there is no size limit, uh, and you can catch five. So the special areas upstream do have uh, 
different limits. There's slots within 800 yards of the dam to where only fish between 12 and 18 inches can be kept uh, or one trout over 18 inches. But most people who fish in that area are, are mostly catch and release fishermen. And, uh, you know, that you can't use any kind of uh, live bait. It has to be artificial lures. And, but you can do it year round. You don't have to do it just in the winter time when the other places are stocked. So it's uh, an opportunity that most people don't have in the other parts of the state. And you know, I, I find it neat that you don't have to you know travel to another far off state to uh, catch a rainbow trout, and they are delicious. So catch them, cook them. They're easy to clean. You can cook them whole, just take the guts out, and excellent fish. So I highly recommend Camp Waco Springs. I highly recommend the Rainbow Trout. And go and look at the Texas Parks and Wildlife website. You're going to see kind of the different fish that they've stocked across the state over the years. And I was kind of surprised to see uh, some of the other things that they had listed uh, I didn't anticipate, uh, you know, coming across the fact that in the 70s they had stocked salmon in Inks Lake. I guess it only did it once, maybe it didn't work out too well, uh, but there's some other ones on there that are pretty amazing too. So please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. We'll have some more videos out soon. Get out there. Catch some trout. Have a good one.